everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ella Ryder and I am doing videos on personal development, spirituality, law of attraction, those kind of things. And I hope you like my fairy lights in the background because these are new and I think they look really cute. So today's video is going to be all about um, how letting go can actually get you what you want in life. And it might seem a bit strange not talking about hustle and talking more about flow, but I think this is the way the world is going, everyone's burning out and thinking maybe there's another way to success and maybe there's another way to have a more ease-filled life. So I'm going to explain how the concept works and how you can get a specific thing that you want in your life without having to think about this specific thing. In my last video I touched on this slightly because I was talking to you about how it's the core feeling that you want to focus on rather than the actual um, object or thing you desire and this is true for this as well. A lot of coaching and mainstream thinking focus on, focuses on having a plan, an action plan, a business plan and a 12 step action plan, which is all well and good. However, there is an easier way and there is a way that's more fun and more fulfilling. It's something I'm seeing more and more in my life when I go about things this way. If you're interested in not having to work hard all day and you want to have a more fun, free and flowy life, then keep on watching this video. So I'm going to cite something from one of my favourite um, teachers, Abraham Hicks, and it's not word for word, but in a lot of their um, content they say things like, the moment you decide that you want something, that thing has already been done, it's already on its way to you. It's a bit like when you make a order to Amazon, and you place the order and it's done, and you know it's done, you don't have to think about it. That's the way the universe works, so when you decide that you want something, it's already in motion, it's already kind of happening, it already exists. You just have to line up your energy with it to experience it in your life. Our work is to become the person that already has that desired outcome. When I say become, this is everything to do with the actions you take and crucially how you feel when you take these actions. Taking all the action in the world, if it feels like a struggle then it won't give you the results that you really want. For example, with diets, so many people are doing diets from a place of hating their bodies, from not liking themselves to begin with, and they wonder why they can't stick to it or why it's not working. If you're doing something from a place of self-loathing or self-hatred, then it's not going to actually give you the results that you want. Sometimes it works for people because they're in the right mindset, the right place, and it's coming from a loving place. So you see all these like really strict vegans that are doing like, um, that have turned vegan and lot dropped so much weight because it's just the right time for them, it's lined up with their energy, they really believe that's going to be, it's going to work. And remember, reality is a reflection of what you believe to be true. But if you maybe do it and think it's not going to work for me, then it might work for them because if so and so they might have a really fast metabolism then that's why it's not going to work for you that's why you aren't getting the same results they got because your energy is in a different place and it's coming from a different place the key is to accept and make peace with where you are right now in the present moment when you think about it the only ever re the only reason we're ever unhappy is because of your mind telling a story about the situation that you're in and it's labeling it as either good or bad once you're able to make the situation neutral then you take your power back and go about your life the way you want to. How does this relate back to getting what we want? Well, if you're struggling with attracting a specific thing, a partner, a pet, a move, a job, you need to go towards what Abraham Hicks calls going general on the subject. You've got a lot of resistance built up, which isn't going to get you anywhere. You're just going to go back and forth, round in circles. So what you need to do is go general and then let the resistance drop and then you can reapproach the subject from a more clearer, more elevated point of view. So going general basically means taking your attention off the subject and then focusing on other things that make you happy, make you feel good, things that are going well in your life, and then it raises your general vibration and that is what attracts the things you want into your life. So if you're looking for your dream job, for example, instead of spending all day on job sites, which is quite depressing. <laughs> Go and follow your passions and hobbies and follow your interests, follow like the tiny clues in your heart that make you want to go in a particular direction. Finances allow you to explore those more freely and spend more time doing the things you enjoy because when you're doing things that light you up, other people notice it in the world and you are attracted to situations, attracted to people that will help you or assist you on your path. Or alternatively, if you're a bit stuck in finances, then maybe working part-time in something that interests you and allows you to do what you want outside with a more free mind, then maybe that will help too. Something that's easy so you don't have to worry about money and you can also meet new people at the same time. The universe works in many ways, but you can end up meeting someone that 
knows about the perfect job for you and tells you about it and you get it straight away. You be working in a restaurant and then give them really good service and you can meet someone who's a big CEO of a company and they recommend you for a position that sounds great for you. You really never know and I think it's about not keeping yourself limited by certain options by thinking the only way I'm going to get this job is if I apply to 10 jobs a day on read.co.uk. You kind of just close yourself off from more interesting, more exciting opportunities. Or you could be meditating and then come out of meditation. This has not happened to me yet, but I've heard people that it has happened to. <laughs> and you get like an urge to go on a specific, specific website or call a person or ask them on something. And then that leads you to the job, the interview or whatever. So it's having those moments of divine inspiration that wouldn't be able to come through if you were so fixated on the problem. So me personally, I am... I don't want to say I'm controlling, <laughs> but obviously I have like certain dreams, certain visions of how I want my life to be. And it's very... Um, it's a practice to let go of those like outcomes and go more general and surrender more. What I do, if I'm wanting to call something into my life, I will write a list in the notes section on my phone of that thing. So with Teddy, I had a list of, actually I'm going to find it, <laughs> had a list of what I wanted my dog, if you don't know, to be like. And he pretty much meets everything on the list. So I called it my ideal dog. <laughs> you can do this with like a relationship, a job, a flat. So what you do is you write down the qualities that you want in that thing and then you can I only tend to go back to it if I want to add something or change something um, and I forgot to even written it and then when I found it on my phone I was like oh that's so funny I wanted my little dog to be nice and small which he is looks like a teddy bear his name's Teddy so that's ironic <laughs> and everyone's always like oh he looks like a teddy bear when I walk past him uh, with him calm I mean he's as calm as a puppy can be I guess <laughs> it was close to home where I got him from um, he was easy to train. He is very easy to train, like, you know, it's high five, I mean, what more can you want? <laughs> uh, he's affordable, he was affordable for me, yes. Friendly, he's the most friendly dog you ever meet. Uh, short hair, I mean, he's got short hair when I groom it, regularly. Sweet, yes he is. Silky fur, everyone always comments how soft he is, he's so soft. Um, now I put light cream colour with some white patches. Now when I think about it now, you can't really cream with white wouldn't really go very well so he's kind of ready apricot colour but he has like white patches on his front of his face and his um, middle cute little bark now Cavapoo's have this kind of tiny like me 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 squeak which he makes which is actually very cute loves cuddles and being picked up now he can run away from me for hugs but he loves hugs from other people and he likes I don't know, I think he likes being around people and being picked up generally. Enjoy short walks, he loves going on walks, he gets so excited. Already had vaccines, he had one, but I think the age I got him, he wouldn't have had two anyway. Everything on that list has come true. Whether you believe that list created it or not, it's up to you. But I do think some of the things on there, like the white patches, are too, too coincidental not to be something that I created through my list. I recommend you make a list similar to that for something that you want and just boil it down again to the core feelings of the things you want so don't try and get too attached to appearance um, if it's maybe a partner you want like a boyfriend then don't think about too much like he has to have dark hair blue eyes and then be six foot five or whatever think about the qualities you want in that person and the character of them because I think that will open up your options more and you might attract something into your life that you weren't expecting to enjoy quite as much as you thought. From my experience the moments that I've given up the control in my life are times when what I've wanted has flowed in. Teddy I haven't given up the desire but I've given up being attached to the outcome so I thought okay I'm probably not going to get a dog until I move out of my family home because my dad doesn't like dogs and it's just not practical and then the moment I gave that up no, my family were like, okay, you can have one. Or when I thought in the past about, okay, I don't know if like blogging's the right avenue for me because I'm not getting much results from it. Um, I'm putting all this work and effort and I wasn't seeing the result that I wanted. But then the moment I was like, okay, I'm really like, look, letting it go. I don't care anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I get emails saying, oh, we'd love you to do this like 
um, a sponsored blog post for us, we'd love you to do a YouTube video for us, can you do an Instagram ad for us? And I'd be like, oh, like something's trying to push me in this direction, like it's just showing me that giving up the control is the way forward. There's another example I wanted to share with you which was a laser hair removal kit that I attracted into my life, like an at-home one. So me and my sister were at um, a pub in town for a drink one night and we were just chatting, I can't remember what, how we got into the topic but I was saying I'd really like a laser hair machine and I mean it's not something I'd ever really think about buying for myself but I was saying like wouldn't it be really nice, oh, Teddy. <laughs> wouldn't it be really nice if I had one, I'd really like, I think it'd be really handy to try doing it at home and just save so much time like shaving and stuff and then that's all I thought about, I'd let it go, I wasn't really concerned about going online like finding ones, comparing prices and then the next day I was at a um, blogger programme event in London and Braun was there and they were handing out free laser hair removal machines and I was like oh my god and I didn't even realise the connection between that and the night before because it wasn't until I got home my sister was like oh isn't that funny we were talking about that last night and I was like Oh yeah. It really does work when you're unattached to the outcome and you just put these things out there that you want and then go about your life, be happy and like do the things you are drawn to and the universe puts them in your path, maybe not in the way that you expect it to but it will happen at some point. I'm not going to pretend that letting go of things is um, something that's really really easy or comes naturally to a lot of us. I do think that a lot of us get in our own way because we're so attached to how things are going to happen in our lives and how that thing is going to look rather than being open to what the universe wants to show us, how the universe knows what will make us our most happiest selves. So on that note I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, do you agree, do you think that letting go is the key to getting what you want? I think it's not about like letting go completely, You want to, if you know you want something you can never let it go, it's letting go the resistance of that thing as Abraham Hicks would say, so it's not um, giving up, it's just giving up the control, giving up the like need for that thing to be happy. Thumbs up if you agree and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on law of attraction and self development like this and yes I will see you soon for another video. Have a lovely lovely day, bye!